Hi, my name is Cosimo Pecchioli and I'm with Alfa Laval Data Center Schooling Solutions. And today we look again and when is the uh, perfect time to run a cleaning in place or a CIP cycle through your heat exchanger. So in the previous two videos we looked at when is the right time to actually open and, and check a heat exchanger and we said never. You are not supposed to actually open a heat exchanger just to check it. Uh, you are supposed to open a heat exchanger if you really have to, if you need to do a mechanical cleaning. But so the question is how do I determine when is the right time to run a CIP cycle? And you might remember from the previous videos this graph which has this curve of the performance of the heat exchanger in time. So again, if you look at this graph, you remember that you are not supposed to uh, wait uh, till the performances actually go below this threshold, they go through this line because that means that normally means that the channels inside of the heat exchanger are clogged and that point the CIP solution cannot run through the channels and so it doesn't do anything. And again, if you're not familiar with these concepts, you can look at the previous videos and we go through this a little more in details. So the question is and was, how do I determine when is this time and I don't want to get close to that. And the solution is what we call connectivity. Connectivity is a tool that can come with our Flaval heat exchangers and is essentially made of four sensors at the four ports that monitor continuously the pressure drop and the temperatures and along with the algorithm tell you when is the right time to uh, run a CIP cycle. So you have a screen, you have a screenshot that gives you a lot of information and alarms. Let's have a look at that. So this is the main screen of connectivity. Here you have efficiency. Here you have efficiency machine learning. Here you have the gasket, gasket condition. And in, in here you have the temperatures. What you have to pay attention actually are those graphs. That if you remember uh, the, the graph that we had on the whiteboard, they are kind of the same but reversed. Because in this case you see that, that the, the pressure drop increases, 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 then you run a CIP cycle and then goes down, and then increases, 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 and you run a CIP cycle and goes down. And of course you can have these for any kind of different uh, uh, time frame. So you can have it every six hours, every day, every week, every month, and then every year where you really see the cycles. So we said that we have efficiency and efficiency machine learning like 98% in case of efficiency and 97% in case of efficiency machine learning. What are these? Efficiency is the efficiency of your heat exchanger currently, the efficiency of your heat exchanger compared to the on paper efficiency, the theoretical efficiency of your heat exchanger. The efficiency machine learning is the current efficiency of your heat exchanger compared to the efficiency that the heat exchanger had when it was new. So, clean. The algorithm compares these two efficiencies all the time and when they go below a certain threshold, it actually activates an alarm and it tells you that that is the right time to run a CIP cycle. And so, in short, this is connectivity. It's a tool uh, for you to keep the heat exchanger in perfect conditions all the time and uh, to run a CIP, a cleaning in place cycle, before it's too late and you need to open the heat exchanger. If you found this video interesting, uh, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel where we have other videos about similar topics in uh, heat exchangers and how to uh, run them and design them. Thank you very much and have a great day.